The stealth threat. The clot doesn't strike under stress. The real danger of a blood clot, deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, is that it usually breaks loose not during a stressful moment, but when you're completely still. Long-haul flights, cross-country drives, or marathon sessions at your computer are ideal conditions. Blood pools, pressure fluctuates, and a piece of that clot can break off and travel to your lungs or brain. People assume this is only a concern for the elderly, but the statistics are brutal. Young, sedentary office workers and frequent travelers are just as much at risk. Signal 1. The persistent burning leg pain. The first red flag is a sudden, deep ache, pulling, or burning sensation in your leg, especially in the calf. Many mistake this for simple fatigue, a charley horse, or a cramp. The critical difference is that DVT pain does not go away after stretching, walking it off, or massaging the area it persists for hours. This is a marker that a vein is blocked by a clot and blood is struggling to find alternative routes. Ignoring this symptom is giving the clot a license to detach at any moment. Signal 2. Sudden shortness of breath, sob, with minimal exertion. The second serious warning sign is unexpected breathlessness, even during light activity. You might climb a single flight of stairs and find yourself gasping for air, even though you easily managed it yesterday. This means small clots, now called a pulmonary embolism or P, are already disrupting blood flow in your lungs. If this symptom appears in the 24 hours leading up to a long flight or heavy work day, it is a direct, life-threatening emergency that you cannot afford to ignore. Signal 3. Unexplained dizziness and crushing fatigue. Your body is warning you. Blood isn't circulating normally, and your brain isn't receiving enough oxygen. People often blame this on low blood pressure, stress, or lack of sleep, but in the context of DVT, this is a critical emergency alarm. Pay special attention if these symptoms appear suddenly and coincide with leg pain or shortness of breath. The cost of powering through. Medical professionals know that the majority of patients who die from a fatal blood clot, thromboembolism, experience these warning signs a day or two prior, but tragically chose to ignore them. Your body always tries to warn you, but the cultural habit of just toughing it out or powering through is costing lives. If even one of these signs matches your current state, the count isn't in weeks, it's in hours. So, would you listen to these signals and get your veins checked immediately, or will you continue to hope it will just pass?